Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be going through my everyday makeup basket and shop my stash for July of 2020. Yep, can you believe it's already July? <laughs> we officially halfway through, I think, the worst year in a lot of people's lives, and just, yeesh. So as you can see, the top is kind of a hot mess. It's, I've got a lot of new products that I really want to move into my basket. I want to move a few things out, try some different things. So let's just jump in because this is probably already going to be a long video. Before we do though, if you want to catch the playlist where I have all of my monthly makeup baskets and shop my stashes, I'll have that up in the cards if you just want to have a nice binge watch. Okay, so up here. So I've got my lotion. I picked this up at CVS the last time I was there. This is from Hemp's. I know this brand because a lot of YouTubers are talking about it, and I just happened to see this bottle there, and I love green tea, so I got it. I actually really like it, so happily surprised there. I have my setting sprays, my cover effects, and my Milani. They're both still, like, at least more than halfway full, so I don't think I'm going to change those out anytime soon. I've got my little hand lotion. This is from Notoriously Morbid. I've got my cheap Sally Beauty uh, cuticle oil. Um, this is a, a sample I brought out to finish up. This is actually, I think, a moisturizer or a primer. I've been using it as a primer to finish it up, but it's almost empty, so it's going to stay up here. This product I got in my last Try Beauty box, and uh, honestly, I really don't want to use it because another product from this brand broke me out really bad, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to patch test it at the very least. So that's why I have it up here to remind myself to patch test. Moving on to over here, as you can see, I have a different mascara. I bought a three-pack of the Essence Lash Princess off of Amazon because, honestly, I hated this mascara. So the one I had in my basket previously was this NARS Climax. I hated it so much, so I, I didn't even really want to keep using it. And I knew of a cheaper mascara that worked better, so I got a three-pack of this, and I used this one, which is the Volume Mascara, because I haven't tried this before. There's a couple of different versions of this mascara. The one that I like the best is the green bottle, but I wanted to try something new, so I have that one there. I also have my new, oops, and I'm gonna drop it. I have my new Aquaphor like, lip balm, so that just stays right there. And I think, since I'm using that, I'm gonna take out this lip gloss from Shop Miss A and swap it out. Same with all of these lip stains. I used them a few times and I'm glad that I did, but I, I wanna swap them out for something new. I'm gonna keep these because these are all new um, purchases from Notoriously Morbid, a black lipstick and two green lipsticks. So I'm gonna have them right there. This is also a new purchase. I bought, I bought this off of uh, Poshmark from another YouTuber. Um, I tried, I really wanted to try out some other Milani products. So if anything, I might scoop these back and put these here as the lip gloss instead. I'm actually almost out. Like this control freak is almost empty, but I don't think I have another one. So I might have to like go and buy another one. So I'll leave it here until then. I've got my NYX glitter glue, my cuticle tool, and my spatula for panning. Then I've got the eyeliners. Honestly, I've been so bad at using eyeliners. I barely used either of these, so let's move those back. And then back here, we've got my eyelash curler, a little tiny makeup remover, and then my Tri Beauty Box cartridge. So now that this is kind of cleaned out, let's move down to the first drawer. So... In our first drawer. I finished a foundation already, so I replaced it with the collab foundation right here. Oh, let's go down a little bit more. The collab foundations, I'm gonna keep the collab foundation in along with this white mixer. I think I'm gonna remove the Catrice because I did actually use a full size Catrice foundation and pan it. I kind of want to try other things in my collection because this is my last Catrice foundation. So let me swap that one out. And you know what? The ColourPop concealer, I'm gonna keep. This is actually almost an empty, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Soon I'm going to have to cut it open and actually use it. So I'm going to keep those in. However, I'm going to move this Matte Putty Primer out and get something different. For this one, the Make Me Matte, I'm going to keep that in because I want to experiment with it a little bit more. And actually, I have new powders. So I am going to move my Cody Air Spun Powder and throw this poof into the, <laughs> the wash to get washed. So that's everything for the first drawer. The second drawer is also kind of a mess. 
But we've also got a lot of a uh, Project Pan products here. So we are going to keep this collab palette, my current brow product, these two loose shadows, this, not to do any terrible spoilers, but this is going to be moved out. And I'm moving in this Too Faced highlight instead for now. I'm going to move out this uh, Hello Halo blush lighter because I did use it a lot and I got a lot of use out of it. And then for this, so I was actually really considering what I wanted to do with my little face palette. I finished the Wet n Wild powder up here. And I think I'm going to move this out and bring in an actual face palette. Because I actually, I hit pan. I got a lot of use out of these products. So I feel like I did use them a good amount. So we'll move this out and bring in a new face palette. Same with the blush palette. One unfortunate downside is now the the, the lid is broken. <laughs> so unfortunately it, it's no longer together, but I still love this blush palette. Um, so we will pick a new blush to bring in instead. And that should be everything for that drawer. Next drawer. I brought in the Sweet Peach palette to use for a recording I had to do for like a networking event. <laughs> so I can move this back to my collection. I think I want to take the chocolate bar palette out as well. I'm going to keep my Natasha Denona 28 green brown because I am having uh, that in my project pan. And then I'm going to move these two palettes out. I brought them out to use in my Spotlight on Petite palettes for pastels. If you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I think I got some good use out of that. So I will move those back to my eyeshadow palette bookshelf. And then down here, we've got all the glitters that I normally reach for, and then my little poof poofs. Along with the, um, spoiler alert, I guess a little sneak peek into my HP Project Pan totals for my two loose shadows. So, we've got those. They can stay. So, I'm going to move all of this makeup back into my collection, and then we will go and shop my stash for a lot of fun, exciting products. All right, all the makeup is put away. Welcome to the makeup collection side of my vanity. Before we jump into the drawers like usual, I actually have this little bag full of some new products that I really wanted to like keep here and move in for this um, basket. So the first one is a palette I got in my next Try Beauty Box. Even as the Try Beauty Box video, I'll throw it up in the cards. But this is an eyeshadow and highlight palette, and it looks really cool, and I'm excited to try it out. I purchased this off of Mercari from another YouTuber. It's the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. I want to bring it in as a primer. I think I mentioned previously that I have some new powders. So I have two new powders that I really want to bring in and fully test. So this one I've actually had for about a week and a half now. And I've used it quite a few times. And I'm surprised by it and also kind of angry. This is the new Givenchy Prism Libre face powder. And this is expensive. This is pricey. Look how fancy this is. This was graciously gifted to me by Influencer, and I'm currently working on my review. So far, I really like it, guys. Especially for baking under my under eyes. Oh my god, this looks amazing on my under eyes. And even using it as a light dusting over my face, it looks incredible. And I kind of hate it because I know how much it costs. <laughs> so, so far, I'm actually really liking this product. But I want to take the month of July to really devote and doing a full review. So if you want to see the rest of my full review, make sure you check me out on Influencer. And I'll also be posting my review to Sephora and a couple of other websites as well. Probably also on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me there. But so far, I kind of hate that I love it so much. Next, I have another product from my Try Beauty box. This is a lipstick from Cure I really want to try out. It's like a really deep nude for me, and I'm excited to see how it looks and wears. To compare to the Givenchy loose powder, I found this product on Notoriously Morbid's website, and I picked it up in my last haul. This is the End Finishing Powder. It is just a bright white translucent powder. So I'm going to bring this in just to really compare and see how it works with the Givenchy. All right, another lip product. <laughs> I was in CVS waiting for my boyfriend to pick up a prescription and I saw this. I didn't know that uh, Maybelline had a black lipstick, but they do. Look at that. Oh, it would help if I was in focus, huh? Look at that. I'm excited to try this out. I have not even swatched it yet. I just picked it up on a whim in CVS. So I'm excited to try that out and include it in my next Best and Worst of Black Lipsticks video. 
Alrighty, I did place a Sephora order. I picked up um, a brush cleaning solution from Cinema Secrets. And while I did that, I decided to pick up this Cutie Bento from Kaja. So this is my first Kaja beauty product. And this is the cheek and lip tint in the nice peach shade. So I'm really excited to try this out. Look how cute these shades are. There's the first one. I'm excited about this one. So excited to try that out. With my Sephora order, I got two samples. One is a concealer I really wanted to try. This is the Tarte C Hydra Sealer. And then I got a loose a setting powder <laughs> um, sample from Laura Mercier. I haven't used Laura Mercier powder in a while, so I'm excited to try it again and see what I think compared to the other two powders I'm currently testing out because I remember absolutely loving the translucent powder. I've never tried the Glow Translucent Powder though. So, well this is the Glow, this is the Translucent. So I'm excited to try out the Glow and then compare the new powders I have to the old powder that I loved. Okay, so that was quite a few new products to bring into my collection. Let's see what else we need to bring in. This is just tape. These are all my nail products. Speaking of, I just did my nails with the new Holo Taco collection. It is gorgeous. This is my eye, <laughs> oh, that fell. This is my overflowing mascara and liner drawer now because I did buy new mascaras and I got a mascara in my Tri Beauty box. I really don't think I need to pick anything from here now because I actually, that's a lie. I'll pick this Pixie double-sided liner and I'll use that. But everything else, honestly, I think I'm good. Over here, I have single loose or individually packaged shadows and I really want to bring in I'm kind of struggling a bit with my pan that palette so I want to bring in one of my favorite shades which is from Colourpop this is the super shock shadow and frog so I'm gonna bring that in and I think we're good next we have lashes which I really don't use should I uh, let me pick a pair we'll try to use a pair these are both really used Let's grab these. I've never used these. These look dramatic. <laughs> I picked these lashes from Shop Miss A's AOA Studio line. These are the Rita's. And I like how they are very cat eye. They're very tapered towards the inside and bright and big on the outside. Moving on down, we've got my glitters, which I really don't use that much because I have my like nice little... <laughs> cachet of glitters in my basket already so i think we're okay here i was thinking about bringing in this yellow liner but i don't know if i would use it so i think we're good there next we have setting sprays i did <laughs> uh let me point this down a little bit i did um stock up on setting sprays when i realized i was basically out picked up a few from wet and wild and a couple from milani whenever i was at uh drugstores you know doing errands here we have lip liners and lipsticks and well not lipsticks we have lip uh treatments and i don't need any right now so that can stay and then here we have concealers i already have a concealer i really want to finish that color pop concealer so i think i'm going to stick with that one moving down to primers what primer do i want to use hmm i think i should bring this back in this is a charlotte tilbury uh color corrector so an under eye primer I'd like to bring that in, so let's use that one. Hmm. And you know what? Let's go with this AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer for now. Moving down to face powder. So this is face powders and bronzers. I have picked up a few face powders when I was out at CVS the past couple of weeks. I don't think I'm going to pick any individual bronzers. I might do that next month, but this month I have a, a face palette in mind that I really want to pick out. So I think I'm going to skip this for now. For face powder, hmm, hmm. You know what? I lied. I think I'm going to grab this Milani. I'm going to grab this Milani powder because it was a face powder and now it's a light bronzer. So let me use it as both a light bronzer or maybe a face powder. It's a light bronzer. And then face powder... Let's use the other balm powder that I have because I absolutely adore this powder and I know I'm going to go through it. So let's use it. Moving down to blushes. I forgot I had this, to be honest, and I want to pull it out. So let's bring out this Profusion palette. Palette. 
And I think that's what I'm going to deal with because we have a lot of options in that palette. And this last palette, or this last palette, <laughs> this last drawer is just electronics. So let's move into the actual Alex drawers. Okay, looking at this top drawer, I don't think we need anything. We, I wanted to keep all of like my loose kind of depotted products up here, but I don't think I'm going to use any of those this month. And I have my blush palette because it doesn't fit anywhere else. So along with my loose powder, I think we're good here. Oh, I have another loose powder. I should move the loose powder down here. <laughs> my bad. You will be down here. So for foundation, I do want to bring in something different. Um, and I think that something different is what is it gonna be? Let's bring in this Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Color Pop. Because I think um I can also use the Color Pop to lighten the other foundations because I'm running out of my light my white mixer and I need to make things match my pale ass self. So those two. And then I think that's it. Because everything else, look, look how empty this drawer is. Wow. It's like that's it. <laughs> so I think that's good. So I already picked a highlighter to go into my project pan that I'm working on. What other highlighter do I want to bring in? Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this Physician's Formula nude brick. I haven't used that in a while. I'm still working on my lipstick organization. It's not the best. <laughs> and honestly, I've got those new lipsticks I want to try out. Is there anything else I actually, like, honestly, I'm going to be dead honest with you guys. Since quarantine, I have not been reaching for lipsticks, like, really at all. At all. Mainly just lip, like, lip, not lipstick, like, chapstick. Let's bring out, you know what, I love these Fenty ones. You know, I'll bring out some of these and maybe they'll inspire me to go for other ones. These seem like nice summer colors, so I'll bring these three out. So for face palettes, let's zoom. Zoom. This is the palette I really wanted to bring out. This is the Smashbox Ablaze palette and look how pretty that is. Look at these blushes, look at these highlights, look at that bronzer and contour. These are probably way too dark for me, but I won't know until I really try it out, right? Right. So I'm gonna bring this in and use it for July. And that's all I need for a face palette. So let me close this and we'll go over to eyeshadow palettes. Cause honestly, well, I did pull one palette, so maybe I'll just pull one more. Welcome to my eyeshadow palette bookshelf. Honestly, I haven't really thought much about other palettes, at least recently, which is pretty bad. Hmm. Let me grab this one. This is this is a palette I have not given a fair shake and try to. This is from Ace Beauté and it's the Oceanic palette. I haven't really used this and I need to. And I have a green palette that I'm panning and I've got reds and other stuff. But I think I can bring this in and utilize it with what I'm currently panning. And I want to give it a good shot. So let's use this palette. Good choice, Monica. So that's what I'm going to be picking for July. Let me go ahead and organize all of this back into my monthly makeup basket. And then I will bring you back for the final reveal already so here we are with the final makeup basket not too much change up on the top we've got the new lipsticks we've got the eyeliner and that's about it for up here oop that's drawer number two <laughs> excuse me <laughs> drawer number one we have all the foundations i think i picked a few foundations but i know the pretty fresh is like halfway empty and i think collab is like halfway empty so i think i can get through both of those we've got the loose powders up here we've got the little samples over here the loose powder and the concealer i've got my primer the other primer the color corrector from charlotte tilbury we've got the balm powder to make me matte and then we have the Urban decay and then my original concealer from ColourPop. In drawer number two, we have the collab palette along with the products from my HP Project Pan, the Too Faced conce Concealer, the Too Faced Highlighter, the Loose Powders, and I think that's it from that Project Pan. I've got my Maybelline Loose, oh not Loose, Cream Shadow that I'm using for my brows. I have the Kaja blushes. I have my Milani face powder. I've got my ColourPop loose, not loose, loose super shock shadow. Get the Physicians Formula brick. The lashes are back here, the Perfusion blush and glow, and then the Smashbox palette. I actually really like how this drawer came out. 
next drawer is pretty simple. We just have the three palettes, my Natasha Denona 28 Green Brown, the Lorac Pro Chocolate Box palette, and then the Ace Beauté Oceanic palette. Let's move this. The last drawer hasn't actually changed. We still have some nice clean poof poofs. We've got my notebook and then my glitters. So that is everything for my July Shop My Stash and Everyday Makeup Basket. Let me know down below what you guys are going to be using in July, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.